coming soon from Kerberos Productions. The Pit. The board game? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the third installment of Getting to Know Your Pit a Bit Better. In today's chapter, we'll be looking at combat. Now, in the situation you see before you, you see three brave compatriots of the medic who have already explored the first hallway section. Now, a smart medic would probably just go into position two and be safe. Instead, to demonstrate the game a bit, I will play a slightly crazed medic trying to prove himself. So for my turn, I can move. In this situation, I can explore the room, which will be tomorrow's lesson, or I can check out another hallway, which I will do so. I go to the unexplored hallway. I decide which of the positions to take up. I'll take position two. I'll explain more about positions in our next installment. Now I go to that area, and I roll one dice to see if there's a wandering monster. Indeed, there is one wandering, wandering monster. Go to the A deck, and I return with, oh no, a light security bot. Now, I must fight said light security bot. Let's say though, oh look, I actually rolled a six. That would be two monsters. That'd be a light security bot mark two which comes with a different paint job, so you can tell them apart. Now, things are looking bad for our medic, so he must fight. Back to his card. So you see his natural fighting equipment. He will go into melee combat, using his combat baton. So he has a natural one red, two blue. His combat baton has two red and one blue. So he is rolling these dice. I will decide to attack the light security bot mark one. So now this is my roll and it's not a great one but we'll see. Now for his he has rolled two hits naturally. Then we consult his fate dice. Witness the fate table. I rolled a seven, which is convert a miss to a hit. Very good. A three, which is damage to weapon, which is not that good. We'll deal with damage to weapon in a later installment. And five, I triggered a special on my weapon, which is awesome. If we look down here at the combat baton, the special is inflict stun on an organic target or plus two hits against the machine. These are clearly machines, as you can tell by the machine symbol. Therefore, I will be adding two hits. So through the use of interesting dice, um, I've gone from two hits all the way up to five hits. Now, the light security bot is clearly not happy with this. He will roll his defense dice versus the five hits I've just done to him. Ooh, he blocks one, two, three. Three hits. And we add two damage to that monster, leaving him with two left because he has four hit points altogether. Now, since I went last, this would be time for the monsters to retaliate. He will roll three red dice and one special against position one, but there's no way in one. So it would wrap around and come back to two. So he's going to hit me. He rolled two and on his special table, a six is damage to player's armor. So one point to my jumpsuit, my very fashionable jumpsuit and two points against me. Now for defense, I have no natural green I have a jumpsuit which provides one green and I was using the combat baton in melee so that provides another green. So I'm rolling two green dice to block two hits. I block them both, no damage. Now his little friend, the Mark II, attacks with three dice for red and two for specials. So.
also rolling very low. But he rolls his special twice. And his special is armor piercing. See, special, plus one AP. So luckily he only hit with one. So that turns into an armor piercing hit, which means my armor roll will make no difference. And he does one point of damage to me automatically. That would be the combat round. This would be the pit combat style. Once you've seen this, you know how to play all the combat rounds. Now, next round, my brave friends would come and help me and shoot these guys into their next robot lives. But, for now, we will conclude today's lesson. <laughs>